you can go so far by mess here, but <clears throat> I did test all the coils. Uh, I got 0 0.2 to 0 0.3 on every single coil. And then the output was a uh, 900. So all the coils are good. So that leads me to believe that it is the, uh, the stator which is unfortunate because that is the most expensive part so anytime you're diagnosing these engines you want to start with the cheapest stuff first before you get into the expensive stuff so right now I'm testing the stator um, <clears throat> I'm running the wires I got 511 put the calls for 125 I tested the, uh, the leads here again 125 and as you can see I'm nowhere in the ballpark so what I'm gonna do is uh, I, don't, I don't really like the the ohms uh, resistance testing and I know that these books are these books are great but uh, I'm gonna fire it up and see I'm gonna hook a, a DVA meter up to it or on stator DVA meter and just see what it's kicking out Seems like it might be a problem with the switch box, but both switch boxes are new, so I'm gonna investigate that. I'm gonna do a spark test real quick, make sure that all the sparks are going through, but there's definitely not enough voltage to fire these coils. All right, so now we got spark on one, five, and three, so it definitely has to be the stator, which uh, I think I have a backup. We're gonna find out. I'm gonna check the boneyard, and we're gonna see what happens. All right, well, I've stripped everything down including the wiring harness. It looks like they took the stator off, bastards. Which is the part that I needed. But anyways, I got a seized power head here. And uh, I think I got everything off except for the carb. So I'm gonna continue this tomorrow. I don't know, I might have to buy another stator, which is unfortunate because they are uh, pretty expensive. But um, it's all right to be continued. <laughs> 